we've all seen the videos either from store cameras or individual cell phone cameras the shopping mall disasters the people getting run over on Black Friday as the doors to a store open up people are so impatient and so desirous and so greedy I'm, I'm gonna flat out say it they're all greedy that they will be willing to run over somebody who's maybe a half a step slower. Or the other video uh, in front of a J.C. Penney in a mall where a brawl breaks out at a store. A brawl breaks out. And then I saw one just the other day. A person got so angry because somebody else took their parking spot not only was there a fight, but they got into their cars and somebody once called it, I think it was on the post, called the Demolition Derby. They're beating on each other with their cars. One of them was a BMW. Yeah, right. So where's the fruit of the spirit of gentleness? Where's the fruit of the spirit that says, here, take my parking spot? You know, it's no big deal. You know, if I don't get a, that 50-inch TV set that's on sale for some ridiculous amount of money, no worries. It's no big deal. Wait a minute, am I living in a dream world? <laughs> People... When it comes to getting in the way of something that they want, wow. And then apart from all of that, I mean, that's the stuff that's making the news. Then you've got the people who are just walking through the stores, rude. They, they don't say, excuse me, pardon me. These are some things that I grew up saying, excuse me, may I cut this way? No, no, that doesn't happen. You know the reason why I think that doesn't happen? They don't have God. I mean, come on, let's be flat with it. I don't think they've got God in their life. How can anybody be that rude and that selfish and that mean and have God in their life? Don't know. How can they? And then we hear from James. James chapter 3, we're going to look at verse 17 and 18. And James says in verse 17 and 18, he says, But the wisdom is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Wow. That's where I'd say it. The wisdom to know all the differences. It's got to come from God. It doesn't come from us. We're, we're not that wise. We're very base, actually. When it comes right down to it, it's all about me. Go back to Adam and Eve. It was all about them gaining wisdom. Yeah, their gaining wisdom caused us to be selfish, self-centered, egotistical, ruined God's beautiful creation. And you know what God did? He sent Jesus. He sent Jesus into our lives. He sent Jesus into our world in order to be focused upon God's way. God's way, not my way, but God's way. He fulfilled all of God's law perfectly on our behalf. He gave his life in a gentle manner, like a lamb before his shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. He didn't say, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I, I don't deserve to be here. This is a farce, this is a fallacy. No, he didn't say any of that. He said nothing and allowed man's inhumanity to man put him on that cross. 
because that's what God wanted for us. The blood of the sacrificial lamb given and shed for you, for me, so that our sins are forgiven. Jesus is that sacrificial lamb and to God we say thank you. And Jesus said, I'm not leaving you alone. I'm going to go back to my father for sure. And I'm going to come back. I will come back one day. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave with you a holy, the Holy Spirit. And he will enlighten you on everything that I've taught you. He will empower you. He will strengthen you to follow my grace. But he will also lead you to bear fruit. Bear fruit of gentleness. Of peace. And in gentleness, you're open to reason, open to hearing somebody else's point of view. Full of mercy and good fruits, full of mercy and compassion for the sake of somebody else. Impartial and sincere. And when you follow the ways of the Holy Spirit and when you believe in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and when you live in the grace and the gentleness that is from God, then... Righteousness is so. So let us sow a little righteousness. I know we're a little long today, but it's kind of important to go with this direction. So let's pray really quick. Father in heaven, I give you thanks and praise for all the blessings you bestow to us. Bless us with gentleness, especially at this time of year. Open our hearts and our minds to your grace and your leading. And we pray this all in the name of your son, Jesus, and all God's children say,